Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at an amazing add-on known as Simply Micro Mesh. Now this add-on is made available by Gislav, same creator of Simply Clothes. And of course, if you like to get Simply Clothes, you can actually use the coupon code HALLOWCLOTHES for 33% off. Now, looking at Simply Micro Mesh, this is an amazing add-on that can help you add micro mesh on your model. Now, this comes with 120 ready-made micro mesh presets that you can now easily apply to your model. If you'd like to get this, link is going to be in the description. And with that said, let's dive directly over to Blender and take a look at how this works. So with Blender simply open, how you get started is by simply going over to edit, go to preference, install the add-on, restart Blender, and once you come back, press N on your keyboard and you will see the Simply Micro Mesh right here. Now, working with this is extremely easy as all you need to do to actually get started with this as well is to add a simple object. So we can start by throwing in a sphere and once we load the sphere directly in here, we can click on add micro mesh and that is how easy it is. You can now increase the size if this is what you're going for and you can see with this right here, you've started creating something very magical. Now, other things that you can use this for is you can also choose to change the preset as this comes with 120 presets like we talked about earlier. So you can change the preset if you want. So if this is what you're going for as well, you can start making those good decisions. Now, this has a couple of ways that it works. Now, one of the ways that it works is this, that it relies heavily on the subdivision faces that you have for it to apply the mesh. And this is very, very essential for the micro mesh to actually work. So if you also go over and add a single micro mesh, you notice that it applies based off the faces that you have here. So you can increase the size if you want, like we have here, and you can change with, you know, you can make changes and get some very cool stuff happening for you. Other things that you can also do with this is if you like to edit this micro mesh, you can edit it. So let's say you want to edit how the formation looks like. You probably have better options. If you click on select, you would notice that you don't see anything, you know, serious happening. But then if you go over to your edit section, you can now select individual vertices and you can now make changes to those vertices. If you would like to edit the main model itself, you have to hit on done, go over to where you have edit, and from here is where you can start doing some magical stuff. So let's say, for example, we want to select this part and this part, and we would like to insert them a little bit, and probably let's extrude it a bit, and we can also choose to bevel them about a point like so. So once you're done with that, press the tab key, hit on done button, and you notice that that is replicated across all of the other micro meshes. So this one is also very, very interesting. Playing with the face orientation and the rotation is also very, very paramount as most faces do not have exactly the same kind of edge flow that you like and you might want them to conform based on tangent velocity and also normals and that can be done by hitting on the button right here so if you hit on any of these buttons you can have the orientation changed based off what you're going for now going all the way down you can play with the randomness of the scale so if you like to have something fun if you also like to play with the positioning you can also do that and the randomness of the positioning is also something that you can play with now there is also an overlay in case you want to see the wireframe and tell how dense your model is and if you don't want to see that you can turn this off and for those who would like to go for some artistic style looking stuff and you would like to use this to just simply populate your scene yes you can use the thickness and you can start doing some very interesting stuff so let's actually take a very cool look at how this can work for that i will simply take this out and let's get a grid so i'm just going to run a grid through that scale this grid all the way up let's take a look at what a grid looks like okay so we can press n on the keyboard and you know this can also be repurposed for something else so you can literally repurpose anything in blender actually for something else so we can go in and you can raise this one all the way to a point like so and then you can play with the thickness and for sure you can see that already you can have this as a design pattern and you can start using this for some stuff Subdividing this is also very interesting as you can hit on the subdivision and you can start subdividing this for some very cool and nicer looking details. Now with this set, there's also an experimental branch if you like to play with the array functions and you can choose to subdivide the source mesh, okay, so which is this mesh, which is the plane. You can choose to subdivide the source mesh to get even way cooler stuff and you can also unsubdivide that. Now, painting weight is also something that is also very, very reasonable. And if you like to paint weight and you don't want this to actually, you know, populate everywhere, you can use the painting weight feature and you can paint some part out. So let's also paint this part out about something like so. 
So this is also something that you can do. Now, for some very practical examples, you can use this to also populate your clothes. So in case you want to get that chain meal feel for your clothes, you can use that. If you would like to make baskets, you can also do that. Actually, let's make one basket right now. So let's grab a brand new scene right here. And then we are going to get a simple UV sphere. So let's, let's do that real quick so we can get a UV sphere and set this to the X axis, press the tab key, and then tap three on your keyboard. Let's select one huge chunk. Actually, it's best to select these things in your wireframe, press the delete button, and let's delete that face. The same thing goes here. So we can grab this part and we can press the delete button and also delete that face. Once we have that face deleted, we can go over and select the edges, click on one of the edges, go over to select, select these as a simple loop. And with that selected, we can also do some very interesting things like, you know, selecting, the extrude and for this extrude we're just going to extrude this one bit press s on the keyboard to scale this all the way to that point and position this right about the point like so now once you're ready you can right click and then you can fill now filling this you know it doesn't really give us the best result but we don't really need that right now so we can also scale this down to where we think you know we want our stuff to look and we can position this right about the point like this okay so once you're done with that you can go in and get the loop cut tool and cut as much loops as you want so we can cut one loop there cut another loop here and cut another loop right there now once you're done with all of this we can tap z jump all the way out now at this point if we would like to make this a basket we can just simply press n on the keyboard go over to the simply micro mesh click on add micro mesh and then we can select the basket you know the basket thread like thing that we want and if you like this to be populated by ropes and all of these chain mill things you can actually go in and start working with this stuff but for this one i think it's best to stick with something like this so we can grab that increase the skill just about a tiny bit so that the match at a point like so yep so we have that right there and like we talked earlier if you would like to take or you know get rid of these you can simply use the density brush to get these ones out if you would like to subdivide this mesh you can hit on the subdivide and these can be subdivided for you now with this you can simply go all the way to apply micro mesh and once you click on apply micro mesh you now have yourself a micro mesh that you can transfer to somewhere else and you can start creating some interesting stuff out of this and this is you know very very easy the same thing happens for clothes so if you like to use clothes and you know you want this clothes to be on your character and you want the micro mesh to be on them you can also do that so what we did is we got a character from character creator which is a tool from Relution, and we brought that character right into blender now with that character in blender we use the simply clothes library asset tools which are available and generated clothes on top of the model and once that was done we also went through to apply you know the micro mesh and you can do this for almost uh, everything so once you want to work with clothes if you would like to simulate clothes yourself yes you can also do this actually let's go ahead and do a very small simulation of clothes for example let's say we have this and we just run that through let's make this a smooth object go over here and apply this we can also get ourselves a beautiful grid let's scale this grid all the way up let's subdivide this grid by two and i'm also going to simply apply that now i'll raise this one all the way up and what we would like to do is to do a very tiny simulation select the object press n on your keyboard go over to your simply cloth and if you already have simply cloth this is going to be sim this is going to be a breeze as you can select the object that you want as a collision make that an active collision select the object you want as cloth and then you can hit the cloth and like i said earlier if you would like to work with preset libraries and stuff these are also available from simply cloth so for this case i would like to make this one a cloth click on create cloth and then we can select what type of clothes we want if we like cotton denim leather rubber silk wood elastic and crease we can select any of these things for this example we're sticking with cotton and then we're going to press the playback button and once you press the playback button you have this ready hit on apply clothes go over to your simply micro mesh and then you can apply your micro mesh directly here and it is as easy as it gets and you can play with all of this 
to get the appropriate stuff that you're looking for. So we can have this right about the point like so. And if we would like to also have some cloth thingy traveling across, yep, we can also use this to get something like this. So this is more like it, hit on apply. Once you hit on apply, you generate all of that mesh and you can now use this mesh to style your scene and you can use this mesh to do several stuff that you would like to create. So we can move that right over there and we can start doing some very cool things with it. So this is, you know, this is definitely about it. If you like to get the Simply Micro Mesh, you can go over to the link in the description and grab this. You can also go over to the Gum Road and grab it, of course, if you want. And if you like to get the Simply Clothes, you can also get this one right now that it's 33% off. And these are beautiful tools that you can now use and get some very lovely stuff happening for you. So tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you would like to read more about the documentation, you can go over to the documentation section where you can read more about it. And you can also take a look at some of the examples and some of the cool things that have been made with this tool. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, pre-Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.